This is Mr. Masonette, and in this tutorial, we are going to practice dividing a fraction by another fraction. Now, when dividing a fraction by a fraction, you do not need to have the same denominators like you do when you add and subtract fractions. However, that is a possible strategy when dividing fractions. Let's take a look at this example. We have 8 ninths divided by 2 ninths. Now, if your denominators are the same, all you really need to do is take your first numerator, which in this case is 8, and divide it by the second numerator. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. And that's actually our answer. Now remember, you are only allowed to divide the numerators if the denominators are the same. Now, the method that you probably hear most often from your teachers is the keep, change, flip method. That is where you keep the first fraction as it is, and you change the division sign to multiplication, and you flip the numerator and the denominator of the second fraction, or write its reciprocal. Now, at this point, we can simply multiply the numerators together, and that would give us a product of 72, and multiplying the denominators together would give us a product of 18. And when we divide 72 by 18, that would give us 4. All right, let's try another example. Now, notice in this example, the denominators are not the same. So let's go ahead and rewrite this problem using a common denominator. So the denominators are 2 and 10, and the lowest common denominator of 2 and 10 is 10. So we have to rewrite 1 half using a denominator of 10. And because our fraction is 1 half, we should know that 5 is exactly half of 10. And 9 tenths already has a denominator of 10, so we're just going to leave that alone. Now, notice in this example, we are dividing a smaller value by a larger value. And when dividing something smaller by something larger, that will always result in a fraction. So let's write 5 divided by 9 in fraction form. So that would be 5 over 9, or 5 divided by 9. And notice that we cannot simplify this fraction, so we can just leave it alone. 1 half divided by 9 tenths is 5 ninths. Now let's do the keep change flip method just to verify that our answer should in fact be 5 ninths. So we're going to keep 1 half the same. We are going to change this into a multiplication sign and rewrite 9 tenths as 10 ninths. Now if we multiply our numerators together, that produces 10. The denominators produce 18. And because these are both even numbers, they can be simplified by a factor of 2. So if we divide the 10 by 2, we get 5. And if we divide the 18 by 2, we get 9. So that does, in fact, confirm that 1 half divided by 9 tenths is 5 ninths. Let's do one more example. All right, this time we're going to do the keep change flip method first. So we're going to start with 7 eighths, and we are going to multiply that by 16 ninths. Now, if we go ahead and multiply our numerators together, we end up getting 112. And our denominators produce 72. Now, notice that both of these numbers are even numbers. So we can divide both of these by a factor of 2. And half of 112 is 56. Half of 72 is 36. Now, these are still two even numbers, so we can divide by another factor of 2. Half of 56 is 28, and half of 36 is 18. And once again, these are both even, so we can break each of them in half again. That would give us 14 over 9. Now, at this point, we cannot reduce any further, so we can rewrite this as a mixed number. And we do this by taking the numerator and dividing it by its denominator. And 9 goes into 14 once, and that would leave us with a remainder of 5. So we would say that 14 ninths is equal to 1 and 5 ninths. Now let's solve this problem by finding common denominators. The lowest common denominator of 8 and 16 is 16. So we're going to rewrite 7 eighths as 14 over 16. Because I had to double 8 to make 16, we had to double its numerator of 7 to make 14. 
And then we have to divide that by 9 sixteenths. Now that the denominators are the same, all we have to do is take the first numerator and divide it by the second numerator. So we're going to take 14 and divide it by 9. And notice that is the same thing that we got when we did the keep change flip method after we did all of our reducing. And we already know that 14 over 9 is equal to 1 and 5 ninths. Now really quick, I want to review when I did the keep change flip method for this problem. When we got 112 over 72, notice that we reduced 1, 2, 3 times before we came up with our answer. Now before even multiplying the numerator by the numerator and the denominator by the denominator, you can do something called cancellation. Now what that basically is, is reducing the problem before you get an answer. For example, just pick one of your two numerators and one of the two denominators and find a common factor of those two numbers. For example, 16 and 8 have a greatest common factor of 8. So we can divide 8 into 16 twice, and we can divide 8 into itself once. So what we can do now is just do 7 times 2, which is 14, and then we can do 1 times 9, which is 9. So using cancellation is a nice way to get your answer in those terms rather quickly, instead of taking something like this and continually breaking it in half over and over and over. And that is how you can divide fractions by finding a common denominator or by using the keep, change, flip method.